Here we are showing a case of 30 year male with bilateral retained DJ stent since 4 years. Left side stent was removed by Dr. Chandramon sir. Supine PCNL was done, URSL and cystolithotripsy was done and the left side was removed. And now plan for the right side. This is the X-ray KUB showing the large stone burden and this is the CT picture showing stones occupying almost all the calluses in pelvis and the entire ureter was studded with stones. Initially for, was planned for PCNL. This is the Siam picture showing the stones and lower calliceal stone guided puncture was done, guide wire passed. Next the middle calliceal puncture was done and we decided to dilate the middle calliceal tract first and previous open surgery dilatation was difficult and so sequential metal dilatation was done up to 22 French dilatation was done quite a large amount of stone burden was removed through this tract from the upper calyx pelvis and it was also possible to access the lower calyx from this tract due to time constraint at the end of the procedure even though the patient was hemodynamically stable we had staged the procedure and planned for a second sitting he was discharged with tephrostomy in situ the second stage ECIRS was done after two weeks this is the Siam picture the stones residual stones from the upper calyx had dropped into the pelvis and there were some stones in the lower calyx as well and quite a lot of stones in the ureter at this stage lower calyx puncture was done dilated up to 22 French and the remaining residual stones were removed Upper calyx was also reachable through this tract. Next, middle calyceal tract was dilated and it was negotiated across the pelvis into the proximal ureter and taking advantage of the supine position, modified supine position, both simultaneous retrograde and anti-grade access was possible. Two surgeons operating simultaneously using two monitors. These stones by the side of the stent were broken and finally the stent was removed. After removing the stent, the residual stones along the tract were accessed and cleared by simultaneous anti-grade and retrograde approach. And this is the final nephrostogram picture which shows near complete stone clearance. So due to the modified supine position, we could access simultaneously both anti-grade and retrograde and therefore this single position is very useful to approach such cases of retained DJ stent where multiple stones are expected in the kidney, ureter as well as the bladder. Thank you.